Digital Twin is a virtual representation of an airspace vehicle that uses computational models to make predictions about that vehicle in the future. We don't want to be in a situation where we have an airspace vehicle that we need to apply some maintenance or replace some parts uh, when it's too late. However, if we can make predictions, then much earlier on, before that damage becomes significant, we can proactively mitigate that damage before it actually occurs. But the only way that we can do that is if we have an accurate model that can predict what's going to happen with that aerospace vehicle in the future. We model as precisely as possible the as-built aerospace vehicle. As the airplane comes off the assembly line, it gets digitized in the computer. And essentially, after each flight, the digital twin model will gather that information that was taken as its physical twin flew and update its state to try to mimic as closely as possible its physical twin. As the aircraft or spacecraft runs through its missions during its life, the digital twin model will learn about how that particular spacecraft or aircraft is being used and it will apply learning algorithms to determine how it's likely to be used in the future. And the digital twin model will continually get smarter as that aircraft or spacecraft continues to fly its missions. The idea is that we can get to a point where predictions become more accurate, they become faster, uh, because we understand exactly how we can model what's happening and continue that through its entire life cycle. Once each aerospace vehicle is outfitted with Digital Twin, we hope to gather those across the entire fleet and have each individual Digital Twin model learn from each other, such that they don't learn individually in their kind of stovepipe, but instead they all collaborate in one big learning environment. So even if an aircraft is going on its first flight, if it's not the first aircraft of that type to go up, it already has a suite of information from its predecessors for common problems that that aircraft might have. So it's not starting from zero. Digital Twin also enables design opportunities that you may not have had before. So, for example, when we're designing a structure and we're trying to achieve a certain goal, which in particular is safety related, we'll over-design that part to make sure that it has some high reliability when it's actually in service. The problem is now, all of our aerospace designs are being pushed to be more fuel efficient, go faster, and those over-designs now end up precluding what we can actually achieve with our aerospace vehicles. And so we need a more holistic approach of an aerospace vehicle when it's in service. With Digital Twin, we can also save money in maintenance of aircraft. Right now, we pull aircraft off and do uh, teardowns and different schedules of maintenance based entirely on the number of hours, not necessarily based on observations that we make that's a symptom of something going wrong. And oftentimes in that teardown, we introduce new problems as part of the maintenance. So it's expensive, it takes a lot of people, it takes new parts to repair those when it's not necessary sometimes, and it also pulls airplanes down from making money for the airlines. So with Digital Twin, we can pull those aircraft or spacecraft out of their fleet to do maintenance only when it's necessary or only when we know that there's a problem going on. And the goal is to reduce significantly the amount of time that they're stuck in the shop being fixed and more time in service and maintain the same safety record that we do now. Digital Twin, it has applications already in lots of other fields. There are industry partners that are applying Digital Twin concepts to power plants, wind turbines, offshore platforms, bridges, and other infrastructure. Someday, we'll make a digital twin model of your liver, and we'll know in particular how your liver is responding with respect to everyone else's. The hope is in the future that we'll gather information in the same way about your body and about your health that 
you know, we're talking about doing here with the aerospace vehicle. 